Okay, folks, I wanted to give you a look at the red pharaoh chicken. That's a male, the cockerel there. And you can see the males carry a lot of the uh, Faomi genetics. He's a pretty young bird, but he has started crowing pretty heavy. I was hoping he might sound off for you and just give you a good pose here, but I doubt it. The geese are going to harass him now. Give me a second here, I'll try to find the girls. They're actually a lot prettier. I guess this is, you know, my wife always says that uh, it's, it's the males that get all the looks in the world of birds, but in this case, he's not a bad looking bird. But uh, the girls have him beat. I'll see if I can find him for you right now. Well, I'll tell you, these are my birds, and it's like freaking Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom just to get them on uh, camera because they just don't like to be followed or approached. I feed these guys every day, and you'd think they'd get used to me, but I think this is part of what makes this breed really unique. Again, this is a cross between a Rhode Island Red, and I should give you a good look at her there, and a uh, Egyptian Faomi. And it's a little bit dark in this coop, but there's a good look. You can see she's she's heading up just because she doesn't want to be approached. She really is a beautiful bird. They've got a great shape to them. A distinctive Faomi tail. They carry a lot of the red in from the Rhode Island Reds. You can see that long profile to them. They definitely have more size on them uh, than the Faomis, the full blood Faomis do. And they're certainly an improvement on the way they look. They are flighty, but again, I don't see predators catching these guys. I mean, it, it, they'll take out everybody else first. They're the, the fastest birds I've got. Really good looking. I'll see if I can find her sister and maybe get some footage outside, a little bit better lighting for you. There's her sister right there, center frame. Let's see if we move around a little bit, maybe we'll get some better lighting on her. You can take a person and get the lighting you want. A chicken decides for itself whether it wants to be bothered or not. And these birds just don't like to be bothered. Let's try to zoom in on her a little bit. You can see the back of that neck right there when I'm talking about how uh, it was mentioned on the air today that they have neck feathers more like a rooster. There she goes right up over the fence. Yeah, no problem for her. Gone.